Okay, I want to find the cubic equation that best fits these data points here. And these data points are for the cumulative cases of AIDS since 1980. And 1980 is t equals 0. And you can see that the points go from 1981 to 1990. So in the stat menu, let me hit that, we want to go to choice 1 for edit. And that's the place you'd probably figure we need to go anyway to put in data points, since we've been doing that with linear and quadratic already. And I put 1 through 10 in list 1. And I put the y values here in list 2. And you may need to pause the video to uh, get caught up with this. Once you have the data points in, it's the same old process. But uh, you may want to follow along to make sure you're, you're good with this. Is uh, After you get your data points in, click on the stat button again, and arrow over to calculate. And if it says calculate a cubic equation, well, that's choice 6. If it said a quartic equation or fourth power equation, that's choice 7. And uh, that's as high in powers that a calculator will go in terms of getting equations that best fit data points. OK, so we want a cubic equation on this one, it says to do. So that's choice 6. Now, I want to copy this over to Y1. Uh, also, I'm using list 1 and list 2. So if I wasn't, I would have to specify that by doing second 1 for list 1, comma, second list 2 for list 2. If you had your data points in other areas, then, then comma. Then you really don't need the list 1, comma, list 2. And you don't need this comma. But you do need this right here. You do need to say vars, y vars, choice 1 for function. And you're going to copy it somewhere, let's say, to y1. And so now that all that's on there, we'll hit Enter. And it knows that you're, uh, you want the cubic equation from their data points, x is there in list 1, y is there in list 2. And it copied this equation over to your y equals. And if you check this equation, that's the same one that's listed in your book there. 2.944t cubed, x cubed. And then 2,700.189x squared, and so on. That's your cubic equation. Now we could solve this cubic equation. For example, if we wanted to find out when will the number of, um, of uh, let's say, cumulative cases of AIDS be a million, well, what we could do is go to your polysimult application. Now, I don't have that on this calculator. I have the poly program. But if you have a TI-83+, plus, you should have that polysimult application if you copied it from the internet or from your teacher. So I have to go to the poly program, which is not quite as good. So I'll go to the poly and hit Enter. And the, uh, the order or the degree of this equation is a third degree equation. Hit Enter. And for example, down here a little bit farther, it said find out when it re cases reach a million. So we'll take care of that here in a second. But the coefficients, the number in front of the x cubed is 2.9 and then a good bit of fours. And then the coefficient in front of the x squared was 2,700, 2,700.189. And the x is negative 11,000, 16, And the D is this number right here, 10,583.5. Now, we wanted to find out down here, it says find out when the cumulative cases of AIDS are a million. So we would be saying like a million equals this. But this equation has to be set equal to 0. So in other words, we have to subtract the million off the end here. So subtract off 1 million. Hit Enter. And we get three solutions. So one is that it's going to be, there's going to be uh, a million cases of AIDS according to this model anyway. And 21.025 years after uh, 1980, which would take you to about the year 2001. And then let's scroll across. Another answer, and we've got to make sure these aren't imaginary. But this one is negative 920 years before 1980, which is way out of the domain. There weren't any cases of AIDS back then, 920 years before 1980. And we can make sure that's not imaginary, and it's not. And then another one here 
at negative 17.35. Well, that's 17.35 uh, years before 1980, and uh, that would take you back to around 1963 or so. And uh, let's make sure that's not imaginary. And it's not. We don't see a plus anything I or a minus anything I here. So those are three real answers. But even clear back in 1963, there definitely weren't a million cases of AIDS. So although we got three answers, and it, maybe your teacher might want you to write down all three answers, only one answer makes sense. So we had all three of these answers, but uh, these two are out of the domain. The one that makes the most sense is this one right here. So it's a pretty realistic prediction right there.